Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Coming at you today with a Gymshark Animal Reef Review. This is the latest addition to the Gymshark Adapt Animal Collection. It is launching this Thursday, which if you're watching this, that's today. At 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. We try to publish anywhere from 10.30 to 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. That's our sweet spot. So by the time you guys are seeing this, there's a good chance that it's already live or will be in just a few minutes. So check your time. It might be now. And luckily we have a very simple haul today because there's not a whole lot launching in the animal. Now, this animal is very different than the previous animal that launched, if you remember that. That one was hit or miss. Do you recall? Some people called it the stretch mark look. Now, we're looking at the animal reef. What's reef, you ask? This is it. Gymshark's animal has come a long way. There's so many different patterns since they first began. We had cheetah, we have zebra, the butterfly, you can't forget that. That's still on my top favorites of the animal. And now we have the reef. So like I said before, not a whole ton is launching. The pieces are as follows. They will be launching biker shorts, leggings, this brand new crop tank, and I got a lot to say about this. Two seamless shirts, a crew neck, and two short sleeve crop tops. You can expect to see the colors black and coin gray, which I have here today. We have cherry brown with fluo fuchsia. You can definitely see that fuchsia in this. All right, there's definitely undertones of that real bright neon pink. And then it mellows out because of the brown, which I think is a beautiful combination. They really nailed that cherry brown look here. Fun fact, this is the only color that glows under UV light. We're also looking at a soft lilac and digital violet. That one looks so beautiful, but super spring if you ask me. And lastly, a winter teal and bright turquoise. This one's reminded me of the Adapt Butterfly. Do you remember that? Ooh, that color was so rich and beautiful. Really works for the fall season, I think. The crop tank, the leggings and shorts are coming in every single color available. However, the seamless t-shirts are only coming in winter teal and cherry brown. The crew necks only coming in the winter teal and the short sleeve crop tops are only coming in black and cherry brown. So keep that in mind if you're looking for a full getup, you might want to stick with certain colors. The scrunch bum's back. <laughs> I mean, what the heck? <laughs> I thought we did away with this in the last camo video, remember? It was just a raised seam contour. Now it's back to the traditional scrunch. And I compare it to the camo because they're virtually the same, just different prints. For the longest time, camo had this scrunch. They just got rid of it, but animal needs to play some catch up. So first I'm gonna lay out the different aspects of each piece so you know what you're looking at. Then we're gonna hop right into the try on. Today, it's very simple. I just have to show the crop top which is a sports bra. They call it the crop top, but this is their sports bra they're launching. None of the crisscross, where is that? Cause I'm a little, I'm a little butt hurt. That's my favorite. I have biker shorts and leggings. That is it. And really quick before we get into it, if you are not already, please do consider subscribing. It helps this channel out immensely. If you're a huge fan of Gymshark, you've come to the right place. Gymshark is a pillar on this channel. We try to review everything before it launches. On that point, I know we've been a little behind with the new Gymshark releases. To be super transparent with you, over the summer, Gymshark did a little bit of restructuring within. So it kind of backed things up a bit. Now we're slowly getting back on track here. I actually just received same day as this the sweat collection I know you guys have been asking about that and I feel so bad that it's late so if you'd like to still see that video please comment down below and give this video a like that's how I know you guys want to see the sweat collection and if you do find this video helpful in any way please do consider shopping through my Gymshark link it helps support this channel so very much and for your convenience I will have each piece I show today linked individually down below those also count towards my Gymshark link let's Gymshark know I sent you so it helps out big time. All right, let's get into it. I got the black and I got this fluo brown thing going on here. <laughs> Clearly, I love this warm tone. I'm actually super glad that I got black. I feel like I neglect that color a little too much in my wardrobe. And now that the colder weather months are coming, I gravitate towards black more. So it's like, all right, I'm glad I got some now. <laughs> in case you're wondering, yes, it is a full bra. You have removable bra pads and everything. The real action is on the back. Remember in the last camo, the long sleeve, they mixed up the back with that lace-up design? Well, now they have it in this sports bra. However, before you jump to conclusions, on the camo, that lace-up acted as an adjustment. You can make it tighter, you can make it looser. This is just for show. You cannot adjust this backing. I'm pumped that I can take this aesthetic to the gym, whereas you know, I don't really typically wear the long sleeve camo. It's a little thick, a little heavy, and I feel very suffocated in it. <laughs> 
So this is nice to have this and be able to wear it to the gym. Gymshark's really good at creating the animal biker shorts. I feel like that's all I ever see. You don't really see shorter shorts in the animal. You see that in the camo, but not the animal. What do you guys think about that? Because I know a lot of gals, they like their shorter shorts. And I've seen some girls really hike these up too. Make them look real short. I don't know how you do that. So this is a nine inch inseam. Nine, nine. So this almost comes to my kneecaps. Five foot three. Let's go ahead and try these pieces on. Keep in mind, everything is in my true size small. Even the tight fit shorts. Oh, hey, don't mind me. I'm just measuring my torso because this looks like a onesie on me. Is it me? This is long. This is long AF. Now, I do like the option of having longer crop tank styles, but I would have liked the option to have my crisscross too. First thing I noticed when I put this on, this went on a lot easier than the sports bra, that crisscross sports bra. I'm referencing back because that is the sports bra that traditionally comes in this collection. Those are usually super tight to get on for me in my size small. This size small fits a lot more true to size. So I like the scoop neck we got going on here. The girls still look relatively decent. I actually really like the fact that this is long so I could pair it with jeans and stuff. That's cool. If I want to look like I'm wearing a onesie, then I would wear this to the gym. I'm gonna go ahead and attempt my roll trick. When there's a top that's too long, but I want it to look like more of a sports bra, do a little tuckaroo. Let's see how this looks. Can we do it? How does that look from the back, bay? Oh, so close. Really? You can see the it flip on the bottom. You is this a game? It. Is this a freaking game? Whatever. Well, it's still dope from the front. Okay. It's still dope from the front, he says, so cool. There's a built-in sports bra here. You don't have a band underneath, though, that disconnects this overlay. It's all one material. What I do really appreciate. This is a big deal for me. When it comes to crop vests like this, where there's a lot of room for bra pads to just shift and move and do their thing, there seems separation going on here, so your bra pads will never lay on top of each other. I hate when they try to get it on. It's just so disgusting and rude. Just get a room, would you? So yeah, it's nice to have them separate like that so that I don't look lopsided. If you're in between, I really feel like you can size down if you're in between. Whereas that crisscross sports bra, I would have said size up. And keep in mind, the straps are not adjustable, so if you're in between, I suggest sizing down just to make sure that you're secure here because this is pretty low support overall. The shorts. Size small's working. You know I like to size up in my tight fit shorts. I feel like with this material, I don't need to. I feel like small works and medium would just be a little too baggy here. And at the waistband. So I really love the compression that my small keeps. I'm also not really dealing with a bunch of cinching since these are so long. They go towards the more narrow part of my leg and I don't have to worry about them digging up here. But just for shits and gigs, I wanna see if I can pull off that short, short look with these. So okay. you keep all this normal, uh -huh. then you just take the cinch mm -hmm. and then just roll it up, literally, and roll it up. Get that microphone out of my face, you almost, almost messed me up there. And it's that way you maintain the structure of the band. Not, not, not fold it, just literally roll it like dough in your hands, like roll it up with your palm, like, like, like this. Yeah, yeah, there you go, just like that, yeah, yeah. Keep it going, use your, use your, use your muscles. There you go. Slap it. Oh, it looks like it's rolled up uh, like an accident. Like you're supposed to like see just like that. that I did it. Yeah. That's well, it. A little, little bit higher. A little bit higher. Keep it going. 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 Just like that. I do not like this. I do not like the feel of this. Okay. I feel a lot's just hanging out. It's cinching in. Let biker shorts be biker shorts for crying out loud. I'm saying that to myself. Okay. If you can rock it, great. I can't make this work. End of story. <laughs> so let's go ahead and look at these as intended. So, I mean, the patch is back. <laughs> There's really nothing we could do. Maybe they're working on this. Maybe they're in the process right now. They could be at a meeting for all we know, talking about getting rid of this. But I do feel like the camo was a tease. So overall, my true size small is working. When squatting, I'm feeling okay. Keep in mind, when I first put this on and I squat, it feels a little tight back here. When actually pulling the material up, and just sliding it up and fitting it in crevices, then there's more material back there for me to squat and move. The compression's nice. There's no band gaping going on whatsoever here. So true size small for me is working with this material. And if you're unfamiliar with the camo, the adapt animal, these collections, it is a very thick material, very thick. 
very absorbent and it's good for colder months. This color is surprisingly squat proof very passable for the gym. You know, in my videos, I've been trying to wear the sets to the gym before reviewing them. I will be wearing this, just not in time for the video, because the second I got this in, here I am filming for you, because I wanted you to see it before it actually launches, which right now, for us, is tomorrow morning. So by the time you guys see this, it'll be the day of the launch. I can't keep you waiting. We need to take a hot second to really analyze this pattern breakup. There's a couple different patterns going on here. You got a real bulky cheetah print, and then you have the smaller reef print. So they fuse these two prints in such a way where it acts as contour. So for example, check out these shorts. You have the really fine reef print going right down the sides of the legs, swooping on around underneath the glutes. That's where your contour is with that small reef print. Basically where there's a lot of space, a lot of meaty areas will have that chunkier print. If you take a look at the top though, it's very different from the shorts. The front of the top is the small finer print. Whereas you go towards the back here and right where it meets the middle here is the thicker cheetah print acting as a contour. Basically bordering that really pretty lace design. Honestly, the contouring print is so small that from far away you probably wouldn't even recognize it's a print. Okay, this looks like a Catwoman bodysuit right now. So showing you guys the leggings this time around. Great length as usual, five foot three. And if you guys remember from my last video of the new camo that just launched, that feel was very textured. It was raised. This not so much. It's back to the regular animal that you guys know. It's still relatively soft. I know Notice when you're just holding the legging in your hand, it's got a soft feel. When you actually put the legging on and it spreads out the material is where you start to feel more of that gritty feel, a little more rugged. This is another reason why I like it, it's because I can get down and dirty at the gym. To my surprise, they're less squat proof than the red one you just saw. I love the thick material. I love it for a few reasons. I love it during the cold winter months here in New Jersey. I need it. I also love the fact that I don't see my cellulite. <laughs> you know, that's a, that's a little bit of a plus. I like that. It makes me feel confident. These are so thick that you just don't see your underwear through it. It's also very good in the camel toe department because of that. So that's just why I'm a big fan of this range. But with that being said, keep that in mind because what I just stated, if you're not a fan of those things, then you might want to steer clear from these. <laughs> but overall, I'm really pleased with these pieces. I think they shook things up just a bit to keep things interesting. Of course, I would still wanna see my crisscross bra come back, but I still think they nailed it with this top in general. What would be really cool, now hear me out, is if they had this exact set, maybe an updated, nice updated scrunch would be great. <clears throat> Whitney. And if they actually did away with all prints. Sometimes, I just don't wanna print. <laughs> I just want solid pieces. And lately, late, late, I've been gravitating towards more solid pieces. So I think it would be cool to have this material, this thickness, this texture, this fit, everything the same. Just do away with the print, see what happens. I like a little bit of both, don't get me wrong, but I feel like now that I'm starting to get older, I'm steering again more towards just solid minimal pieces. And that's that. I told you nothing crazy. So what are you guys thinking of the new looks, the new colors, all that? Hope you guys enjoyed this review and found it helpful. Let me know, comment down below if you wanna see that sweat collection next. That might be the next Gymshark video coming your way, depending depending on if you guys want it. Really appreciate you being here. Again, please let me know if you shop through my Gymshark link. Always let me know, whether it's in the comments or pop me a DM on Instagram. I love to chat with you guys, see what you got. And as always, if you have any questions about what you saw in today's video, drop a comment below. You can feel free to DM me on Instagram, but I prefer comments because I feel like if you got a question going on, everybody else probably has that same similar question. So let's just cover it all for everybody. This is a community here, you know? But of course, DMing is always an option. My DMs are always open for you. Thank you for being here. I love you guys so much, and I will catch you in my next video.